What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna talk about how much money could be made in cybersecurity. What's your future outlook if this is the career that you wanna get into? going on guys i'm cyber tom we're back for another video and like i said we're going to go through step by step talk about some of the experience ranges and what i think now this is disclaimer it's my personal opinion you can gather your own personal opinion others may have their own personal opinions the data's on the web go on there linkedin indeed check it out Glassdoor. see what you're getting with what kind of experience i've done the research myself already to help you guys out. So we'll go through each kind of phase of experience, see what I'm thinking your target range should be and what it should look like. This could be important for somebody that's brand new, as well as somebody who maybe is already in the field and maybe they're stagnant and they feel like um, they're underpaid or anything like that. Uh, maybe this is just some insight for you, or maybe you're in a position where you're doing well and you're doing better than the average well for that i would say congratulations and um this video will still be helpful for you moving forward you could be somebody who just wants to newly get into security right if that's you then security is definitely going to be a good option for you if you're somebody where this is your first career job um, maybe you've worked little jobs here and there uh, that didn't pay you know too well and that's fine and maybe you're ready to move on to something bigger then on the other spectrum you have the other side of things i have people that reach out to me and ask me you know i want to switch careers and go into it into security into networking what am i looking at when i first get in for these folks i would say be careful or at least understand what you're getting into because you can't expect to jump into IT as a baby and make more than you're making, say, as a truck driver with 10 years of experience. You're obviously probably gonna take a pay cut in the beginning. Now, with that said, most data shows that in 10 years, you're probably gonna be doing a lot better than maybe somebody that is in the trucking industry. So you have to weigh your pros and cons and um, kind of see if you can take that hit if you're somebody in that scenario that's trying to jump back. I was able to be part of a little experiment that a social media friend did with me and many other people where you were able to go onto a spreadsheet if you worked in cybersecurity or IT in general and just go ahead and put your job description how long you've been doing it and your pay. Now this was anonymous, which made it really interesting because a lot more people are willing to do it when it's anonymous. And I got a good understanding of the kind of zero to 20 year salary range. And that's why I'm doing this video um, to kind of give you guys a little insight into what I seen when I studied um, this data. So that's gonna bring me into the first part of this video. And we're gonna look at somebody with zero to one year of experience. This is somebody completely new that has either just switched careers, just got out of college, or is just overall looking to get into security. If you're somebody in this category and that fits your kind of experience that you have so far, I'm gonna put you, in my personal humble opinion, at around 70 to 80 grand a year. And that is gonna be with zero to one year of experience in cybersecurity specifically. This is a great income for most people. I think that's part of the driving factor in cybersecurity in today's day and age. Um, the starting pay is, is very well, and uh, I think a lot of you would be happy with that. There's the exception that I talked about before. The only people that are not gonna be happy about this is gonna be the people that are coming out of jobs where they're 10 years up in the ranks and you know they're clearing six figures. You're gonna have to take a little pay cut. But like I said, I think that's a temporary pay cut because after you get the experience, you'll be soaring. So guys, I wanna take a brief minute to talk about the sponsor of this video, NordPass. NordPass is a great password manager, but it does so much more than that. And I think it really would benefit a lot of businesses out there. So whether you're the owner of the business or maybe you work for a company and you wanna kinda look for a different manager tool, this might be the option. 
One of the best things that I like about this product, that it has data breach monitoring. It takes on average like 121 days for a company to realize that they've had a data breach. With NordPass, you're gonna be ensured that you're finding out about these data breaches very early with one of their very robust data breach scanner tools. This way you can learn if your employee's credentials or other personal identifiable information has been breached. The breach monitoring tool, it's also gonna proactively scan 24 seven the web looking for data breaches that involves your company's important data. Another great option that I like about NordPass is that in companies, you tend to see people using uh, passwords in a way that's not secure. And what I mean by this is they're sharing passwords through like text messages, sometimes even unsecure text messaging like SMS. With NordPass, you can make this easy by simply going into your browser and clicking what passwords that you want to share and which credentials you want to share with which employees in your organization. I think it's a great opportunity for businesses to stay secure and to continue to push that value of security that your employees understand that these credentials that you're passing around need to be done in a secure way. Additionally, Companies spend 11 hours a year resetting passwords. If this is your organization, think about all the time that's lost and revenue that's lost because everybody's always forgetting their passwords. With a great password manager like NordPass, you can ensure that all your passwords are in a safe, secure location that is easy to access for your employees to get their credentials whenever they need them. If you're interested in NordPass, then click the link down below and get your three month free trial with code CyberTom. So that's gonna be nordpass.com slash CyberTom. I'll also put it right up here for you guys too. So if you're interested in this, looking for a password manager, check them out. Let's move on to the next bracket of experience, which is gonna be two to five years of experience. Now you may have heard this before. Once you get your foot in the door, and get some experience that the bar will start to increase pretty fast. And what do I mean by that? Like any position in industry, you need experience. You need to understand the real world application of the knowledge that you have learned, whether that's through certifications or degrees. You need to be able to prove that you can apply it in the real world. Once you get past the one year mark and you're at a range of two to five years of experience, there's gonna be a significant jump in salary. And I also wanna make note that two years and five years is a huge difference in experience also. So therefore, this salary range is gonna be a little bit more broad than the last one was. For somebody with two to five years of experience, right now, I'm gonna say that you should be anywhere from 90,000 all the way up to about 170,000 on the top half of that experience bracket. I think that will put you in a nice zone to understand. Obviously, if you have two years, you're on the low range of that. Um, and if you are in the five year range, then you're on the top end of that scale. I do also wanna know this can be specific to job area. Most people are gonna be looking at these kind of ranges, in my opinion, right now at the end of 2023. If you're in a big city in California, chances are these numbers may be higher. If you are working at a small startup in Arkansas, I'm sure your numbers are gonna be a little bit lower. You have to take this into effect your location. So keep that in mind as we go through this. The next bracket that we're gonna talk about is five to 10 years of experience. These are the kind of people that are becoming the vets in the industry and have a great amount of experience in many different tools and understand the basics of cloud computing, networking. So now somebody with five to 10 years of experience, I would say you should be looking at around 180,000 to about 250,000. This all depends. Somebody with 10 years of experience can make well over that. And somebody with 10 years of experience that has never um, 
looked for an advancement in their career it maybe doesn't even come close to that so you have to take this into account but that is the kind of general data that i seen um, looking over that spreadsheet the last experience slot is going to be anybody with over 10 years of experience if you're 10 15 20 25 years of experience at this level you're probably doing some kind of managing as you should be um, and you are pretty much a veteran in IT and you probably started lower IT and moved your way up past security into either security management or just IT management as a whole. Uh, based off the data that I have seen and researched, most people around this amount of experience are, you know, north of 250,000 from what I've seen. And that is a great income for most people to retire off of. And I think it's a good, um, a good motivation for those that are getting into security that you can almost guarantee when you're late in your career that you'll be pretty well off um, and hopefully be able to help others to spread your knowledge and to inform other people of IT and get people in and help them out. So the roles, right, are a factor in this as well. These, This is experience in IT and generally I'm looking at an analyst role um, or looking at some type of engineering role, architectural role as you get more experience, and finally some kind of CISO role. That is kind of the overall spectrum that I'm looking at, analyst, engineer, architect, CISO or CIO or CTO, whatever it is, upper management level after 10 years of experience. Now, another thing that really wasn't mentioned are people that have their own companies in security and are providing a service. The salary is limitless, obviously, at that point. Uh, and it is something that is tangible once you get a lot of experience, if you have the drive and the money to start it up. Anybody can go create a company and something they're very good at. So it is really just a matter of drive and what you really want. If you just want a nine to five and just go home every day and be done, that's fine. But my point is that the sky is really the limit. And if you have the entrepreneurial mindset that you can take this as far as you want. For me, when I first started in security, I always wanted to see a video like this. I just wanted somebody to break down a general rule of thumb when it came to salary in the current year that I was looking to get into the field, just to give me some motivation. I mean, that's sometimes what you need, especially if you're racking up debt with school and you need to know that this is going to be beneficial, that all this hard work is going to pay off. I can tell you right now, it will pay off and it's a great field to be in. It's fun. It's usually filled with a bunch of great individuals that are there to help you and want you to do better in your career. So I hope this video was able to give you some insight into that so that you now know what to look for um, when you start your career. But as always, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing if you like the content. And if you are my subscriber, thank you so much for always uh, supporting me, commenting, talking with me, liking videos, and just being a part of this family. Um, we're here to stay and Cyber Tom is going to continue to grow. And I look forward to having you along on this journey. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.